Hello, this is from uh, Jam 2022, question number 31. So we have the minus C comma C with the largest open interval in this real space R. As C is a positive real number of C equal to infinity. And on which the solution yx of the differential equation. So there the differential equation is given with initial condition y0 equal to 0 exists and it is unique. This solution is unique. So I have to find which of the following are true. Okay. So we'll just we have the differential equation over here. Okay. Let's start with the so this is a quite uh, easy one. So first dy dx we have given x square plus y square plus 1. So similarly we know that x square means it is same as minus of x square and y square means is minus of y square. So both of this is an even function. Right. And one is a constant term. So this dy dx is a it will be an even function. Right? So dy dx will be an even function. Okay. So what y y will be? Y will be an odd function, right? So in our case, so from option A and B, we can find this Y is an odd function. Y of X is an odd function. So let's see if we. So how a odd function will look like? So we have the. So our function will look like this. This is the y of x function. This is an odd function. So we don't have the increasing or decreasing function. So we can consider the y of odd like this uh, as our function representation. So if we square this y of x also, so the card will look like. Same. So it will look like this if we make it a y. So this is yx, and the red one is yx square. So you can see that this yx square curve has a minimum at this zero, and it will pass through zero because this yx curve because we have the condition given that y0 is equal to 0. Okay. So we can write it in a better way. So y of x it is a function of So here it is a local minimum. At zero. So in our case, the option is a. So y has y is an odd function. So, so, what we got the two information this y is a odd function on 
minus c comma c interval and another it has a this y square as a local minimum on at zero so let's check with the option so here it is given that which of the following is or are true so two options this first one is a y is a not function minus c and another is uh, this y x square so local minimum at zero and d option is y square is a local maximum so we do not find the local maximum over here it is not possible to uh, this no maximum you can find can, you know you cannot determine the maximum value over here but it is not at zero okay so the option is to true for a and c question 32 is saying that uh, it let s be a set of all continuous function so this f is given in minus 1 comma 1 the closed interval is in the real space satisfying the following three conditions so the condition three conditions are given over here f is infinitely in differentiable in the open interval minus 1 comma 1 the Taylor series is there and which should converge at 0 to fx and uh, another condition is given for the so this is the infinitely differentiable in the open interval minus 1 comma 1 this is the Taylor series converges to 0 and the final one is an n belong to this set of natural numbers for that the function 1 by n is equal to 0 now we have to find which of the following is and are true so now look at the uh, this uh, options closely that you can find that a and d is these two, two options are complementary in nature a and b and b and c so either of the one will be true so for a it is f0 equal to 0 it is for fx not equal to 0 and you can look at the b option uh, the integration of some at a particular value it will be 0 and uh, not the differentiation the first derivative f prime and it is not equal to 0 in case of c. so we have to consider a function which is 0 uh, at the x equal to 0 and also a function that is derivative at half when x equal to half it will be 0 so let us consider a function so the function is so let us f of x is equal to x of sine pi by x so this function satisfies condition number one it is infinitely differentiable in the interval minus open interval minus 1 comma 1 and also the the Taylor series it converges to 0 okay number two uh, condition so on number three condition it is saying that so f of n so if I write it in this way yes f of 1 by n 1 by n sine of n pi right so we have to prove it is equal to zero okay for n belongs to natural number okay so n can be one two three any one it can be so for that we have to zero so we know that this is uh, sine pi any two pi it will be three pi whatever the n pi is equal to zero so this value is itself zero okay. now we have the 
1 by n over here. So if we consider this, suppose if we consider this f of mod of the function f of x mod x mod of sin pi by x so it will be this pi by x yes so this pi by x we know that this mod of pi by x will always be less than mod of x so if x is equal to 0 so it will be 0 mod of f0 so f0 equal to 0 so this also can satisfy the condition 3 okay so we can say that from here this observation from the calculation this f taking this function f of x so this option A is correct because f0 equal to 0 for every f belongs to this set. Now, after this so A or D, where to this A is correct, and now after B and C, uh, with between B and C to find which one is the correct option. This is first one. So, let us check if, if there is uh, any correct option or not. So, if we consider a function, so it is given f derivative of half. So, if we consider a function x of sin x minus of sin of pi by x. Okay. So, this is the function. So, you have considered the sin x minus half over here to let us check so if we consider this function so from here you can find that this is exhibiting the first one we have the differentiable infinitely differentiable in the range 1 comma 1 open interval right it is similar to this function with this sine function and similarly the solution this uh, condition 2 is also uh, you can see that because it is a Taylor series it converges to 0 so this series is converging to 0 otherwise if we find that x equal to 0 so it will be x of minus half so if it is 0 so the entire series will the Taylor series converge to 0 so that is the satisfying the equation number 2 now we have the third condition that f of 1 by n equal to 0 it is true because this is equal to 0 so in this case the condition 3 is also satisfying that f of 1 by n is 0 from the above case you can see you can draw the conclusion from here also so now let us check uh, if we have to, have to do the first derivative of this function so if we do the first derivative So this three condition is satisfying this equation. So we are doing the first derivative of of this particular function. So it will be we we'll find that sine of x minus half. So at three components over here. Sign of pi my x pi by x minus this cos of x minus half sine of pi by x and here will be pi by x sine of x minus half cos of pi x why it is minus it is so sine of pi x will be cos of pi x pi by x 
and pi by x is equal to minus pi by x square so x square and x will cancel and it will be minus pi by x over here now if we put the value f of half so in the first component we will get so it will be 0 so it will be 0 0 this is half x is half so 2 pi is sine of 2 pi is 0 minus it is also 0 this x is here uh, it is minus it is half uh, cos 0 okay sine pi by x again 0 so it is 1 half and it will be 0 multiplied by 0 so it will be 0 plus and it will also be plus and uh, pi by x of uh, 2 pi sine of 0 is already 0 so So f of half is coming as zero, which satisfies our uh, the option B. Yes. So in in this for this particular ex, uh, question number thirty two, we have this f of uh, the correct option will be a f zero equal to zero for every f belong to S and f derivative of the value half is equal to zero for f belong to S.